Cindy here. I decided to do a question and answer video because I got so many questions and instead of making a bunch of individual videos, which I was going to do and post them on my Instagram story, I decided to just do a whole video in one um, so you guys can get your questions answered. Um, very common question that I got, I was going to start from the bottom, I guess I'll just do that, but one very common question that was in here at least 10 times was, has Tobin ever nutmegged you? Yes, Tobin is the queen of nutmegging. She's nutmegged probably everybody. Um, so yes, she probably has, I'm sure, multiple times, not just once. Um, so yeah, she has definitely nutmegged me. Um, what is your personal goal for the upcoming season? My personal goal... I don't know if this is like soccer related or um, like personally, but my soccer goal for the upcoming season is to just try and get back to where I was before, if not better. I feel like I was in a really good place coming back from my first knee surgery with my LCL and uh, I just, I was very disappointed when I tore my ACL because I feel like I had improved since moving to Portland as a soccer player. I felt, I felt like I had confidence, felt comfortable in the ball. Um, I, I mean, I just feel like I had adapted to um, NWSL and the environment. And so if I just want to try to get back to where I was before, if not better, that's kind of my goal. I just, and I want to try to stay healthy, which obviously those are sometimes things you can control and sometimes things that you can't control. But there are things that you can control to help to make sure that you try and stay healthy, whether that's doing your prehab, making sure you're staying up with, um, you know, your lifts and doing everything that maybe won't prevent you from getting injured, but it'll at least help. And so especially with this being my second knee surgery, I've been even more focused on making sure I'm doing my rehab. Um, what you, this was a question I got a lot. What's your favorite thing about playing for the Portland Thorns? Um, probably my teammates. I love my teammates so much and this being my first year as a pro, it's been, it was amazing and I think that's a testament to the girls in the locker room and just being surrounded by really great girls every day that made me better off the field, on the field, and just being surrounded by world class players and world class people. So definitely that's one huge thing I love about playing for the Thorns to my teammates, but obviously the fans are absolutely amazing. and. They've been super supportive through this being my rookie year and um, coming back from my knee surgery. They, they're just amazing. So I would say the fans and my teammates, probably my top two favorite things about playing for the Thorns. Um, let's see. Grace Games, do you miss coaching at Oak Hall? So if you guys don't know, I coached at Oak Hall High School um, two years ago, or I guess technically a year and a half ago. And... I absolutely loved coaching high school. I miss those girls. They're the best girls ever. Um, they made me just like love soccer again and they're so fun to be around. And yes, I miss coaching at Oak Hall. Shout out to my girlies. Um, how do you like living in Portland? I love living in Portland. Um, I keep saying um and like a lot. Sorry, that's like really bad habit. I need to break, but. I love living in Portland. I love that everyone has a dog or like an animal. I feel like it's just like such a dog friendly place, which is why I'm so excited Thor's moving there. He's going to love it and he's going to have so many dog friends. So that's why I like one of my favorite things about Portland is just how dog friendly it is. Um, I love the city. I've never really lived in a city, big city like that. Um, and I don't even know if they call Portland a big city, but for me, it feels like it is. So I love the city and I love the food's amazing amazing coffee people are really nice so it definitely feels like home to me so I do love living in Portland I've also gotten this question how's your recovery going a lot of questions about like physical therapy and recovery my recovery is going really well I feel like I'm pretty far along with my recovery at this point um I'm cleared to run which is great I'm moving back to Portland soon in 10 days or 11 days something like that so um, I'm going to be finishing a lot of my on the field stuff. So my progression to play and I'm going to be doing all of that. Oh my gosh, I kind of have big ears. Okay. Okay. Anyways. Um, so yeah, I'm going to Portland to finish a lot of my recovery and try to get back on the field and get back to playing as soon as preseason. So that's my goal is to be almost 100% by the time preseason comes around and making sure that I'm just like 
confident in my knee and everything. So that's been going really well. <laughs> Not a question, but you have the best style. Wouldn't be mad if you tagged your outfits. Coming soon, I'm thinking about potentially, I want to start vlogging and I want to start like showing you guys where I get my outfits from because I like, I love fashion. I love dressing up. And that's like something I feel like I don't know a lot of people probably don't know about me unless you're like really close with me. I love, well, I love to shop, so that's not really a good thing, but yes, I love to shop. I love thrift shopping. I love styling pieces together, so hopefully I can start getting into that and showing you guys kind of my love for that stuff. Um, will you ever play in the W League during the NWSL offseason? Honestly, maybe. I've definitely thought about it. I was actually maybe going to play in Australia this year until I got injured, so... Obviously, a lot of that just kind of depends on how I'm feeling. This is my second, keep bringing up my knee, sorry. But it's my second knee surgery, so you never really know that's going to go. I just want to try to stay healthy, but maybe. Um, uh, is Thor going to be at any Thorns games? Um, I hope so. I mean, he's got to see his mom play, right? Um, hopefully. I mean, that would be amazing. I'm hoping Thor will get to, he's definitely will be at the stadium at some point. Maybe I'll bring him for like a meet and greet or something. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if Mark will allow that, but yeah, we'll see. Um, besides soccer, what's your favorite sport to play? Okay, so this is like a really tricky question because I obviously love soccer and I love basketball too, but since I started dating McLean however long ago, um, he got me into tennis and I love tennis. Like I watch tennis. I watch all the Grand Slams. I've like really grown to love the sport and I wish I would have played it when I was younger. Um, so yeah, like I actually really love tennis. Like I think when I'm retired, I want to play tennis and I think I want my kids to play tennis and soccer hopefully, but I really want them to play tennis. It's just like a sport I feel like you can play forever and it's just like really fun. So yeah, tennis. Um, let's see. <laughs> Funniest teammate on the Thorns. Well, there's a lot of them. Honestly, there's so many funny people on the Thorns. Um, I think for me, just, I mean, she's also one of my best friends, but I think Kelly Hubley is probably the funniest person I've ever met. She's hilarious. Um, so yeah, shout out Kelly. <laughs> What are your favorite stores to shop at? I like this question. Um, so like I have a really weak spot for TJ Maxx and Marshalls and discount stores. And I feel like I find pretty good deals there. So if you see some of my clothes or my outfits, probably from TJ Maxx or something. I've also really gotten into Off-White, which is not good for my bank account, but I really am kind of like into the streetwear style recently. Um, but I love TJ Maxx. I like Urban Outfitters. Um, TJ Maxx. <laughs> it's kind of what I keep going back to. Um, let's see. Um, what is your boyfriend coaching at Clemson? He's coaching tennis. He is the men's, on the men's tennis coaching staff. He just recently moved to Clemson and is amazing. He loves it. It's only like second day, but yeah, he loves it and he's a really good coach, so... That's super fun. <laughs> Poe, you're funny. <laughs> I can't even take Poe seriously. Um, who is your favorite Poe? Obviously, it's you, Madison Pogar. You're my favorite Poe. Um, sorry, I'm trying to like read these. <laughs> Becca, can I be you? Um, can I be you? Um, Mackenzie Tuttle, I miss you too. Best and worst thing about being a pro player. Oh, wow. I love this. This is a good one. Um, the best thing is kind of like what I said before, just like getting to do what I love every day. Obviously, there's ups and downs. Not every day is perfect, but, um, long story short, when I got injured the first time with tearing my LCL, I, I'm not saying I took soccer for granted, but that injury definitely made me realize that I do love soccer and it's something that I maybe want to try to pursue when I'm done with college and you know just made me like really love soccer even more when it was taken away from me and same thing with my ACL I feel like every day 
I stepped on the field before I tore my ACL. I like truly was thankful to just be on the thorns, be in the position to be able to play pro after college. And so I think that's the best thing about playing pro is just really getting to do what I love every day, even though there's obviously ups and downs. And then the downside, um, how do I say this? Obviously the pay is a downside. And I say that not saying that money is everything because obviously I'm playing professionally in the U.S., which means money wouldn't be everything, but that's obviously just really hard because um, there's so many other professional sports, and I know, and obviously they're making a lot of money, and so that's like a little bit difficult, and I say that, honestly, it's going to sound weird, but I say that because um, you know, if I want to go visit my boyfriend for a weekend, it's a little bit harder being a pro um, soccer player in the US because like a $300 plane ticket is really expensive for me and so I think just not being able to like do certain things and just like having to be on a stricter budget like a really strict budget is really hard but the upside is like I get to do something that I love every day so you know you can take that for what it is but that is a little bit difficult. How long have you been vegan? I am not vegan right now but I have been vegan. So I posted that thing on my Instagram story, kind of vegan. Um, not vegan now, but maybe again soon in the future. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if this is a joke. <sighs> What's your skincare routine? You know what? Comment if you want to know my skincare routine. <laughs> Tanner, I hate you. <laughs> Would you ever play in the W League? Yes. <laughs> Julia, I love you too. Um, how did you decide your dog's name? He's so cute. That's so funny. Actually, you know, when, so before, or when I tore my LCL, I was in a really weird funk and I got really depressed. And I'm not saying that whenever you get depressed to get a dog, but Thor has like truly changed my life when it comes to getting me through two knee recoveries now. Um, and I actually have never seen the movie Thor. So, sorry, don't judge me. My boyfriend would very much be judging me. He knows I was telling people that. But yes, I've never seen the movie, but he has. And we were, like, coming up with names together. And Thor just seemed fitting. And it's, like, kind of funny because he actually fits, like, a Thor description, if you would say. At least that's what McLean tells me. So, he's very much Thor. Um, he's crazy. but And he kind of looks like Thor. Like, blonde. I don't know. Yeah. He's just a little cutie. Do you have German or Austrian ancestors? I know for a fact I have German ancestors. My last name is Seiler. My grandma lived in Germany. So, yes, I have German ancestors. Um, and last question, how much do you train on your own? Well, right now I do everything pretty much on my own besides my physical therapy. But I cannot play soccer yet, so I have not been doing any training on my own. And... What's your favorite game you've played in your entire soccer career and why? Hmm. So I would say like my first experience at Providence Park was definitely up there in the top five, probably number one. And number two would probably be when we played Stanford when I was at Florida. It's just a big win for our program and it was fun and exciting and there are a lot of people. So those are probably top two. Anyways, that's it for this question and answer that has gone so long 14 minutes oh my goodness anyways if you guys want to know anything else dm me or if you want to see more videos which you probably don't because i'm awkward and my voice is probably annoying um anyways okay see you later